Welcome everybody, ladies and germs, boys and girls, to the Driving Me Crazy podcast. I am Avery Jones. And I'm Chase Golden. Woo, 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 woo. Welcome back. What was that? I don't know. I'm just trying something new. <laughs> just... well, welcome back. We're oh happy you're here. Yes. And I'm happy you're here because I've got a bone to pick with you, sir. Okay. The last time we recorded, we had a conversation about how hot it was in yes. here. Yes. Really warm in here. It is Isn't very it? warm. I'm going to turn the air on. Hope that doesn't ruin the audio. Is it still recording it's us? Recording. We are experiencing technical difficulties, a.k.a. his air conditioned unit went out. You cursed us. Did I curse us? Our air went out the next <laughs> What? Week. We went away to the Ren Fair and came back, and our air was dead Monday to Saturday. Wait a minute, so what did y'all do? Did you just, like... We stayed right here. I'm pointing. Like, everybody can see it. Yes. On the couch with the fan pointed on us the entire week and just watched a bunch, a bunch of Disney+. Plus. It, it was miserable, so I thank you for that. I'm sure it, you were a lot cooler than you were at the Ren Festival. Did, did I tell you about the Ren Festival? Yes. I've never been to one of these. I've heard many people tell me, say, hey, the Ren I, Festival's I, awesome. I really think you would enjoy it. So, all right, give me a day in the life of the Joneses at a Ren Festival. Of course you gotta dress up. Right, don't, so what did you dress we up We don't as? just go in jeans and a t-shirt. Right. Like a bunch of commoners. Right. So Audrey made me like a cool vest, kind of like an Inigo Montoya style. Gotcha. And uh, she was a rainbow forest fairy. Okay. Her wings broke in the car when we were trying to put them on before we went in, so she was more like a like nymph or something. Like knowing you and her, like couldn't y'all like rig it up to where the wings were still functional? Or No. It was so hot. All the glue <laughs> on everything let go. Oh, there's all sorts of cool stuff. There's this thing called the Puppies of Penzance, where they have these dogs that do these tricks on this little pirate ship. There's just all sorts of great little booths and little trinkets and things you can buy. And a lot of people LARPing and doing their D&D &D Please thing. tell me you LARPed. I mean, I guess technically we were LARPing. What did you... Without... Uh, like, did you have any weapons? Or oh, did they give I, you I, weapons? I don't believe in violence. Well, you could have been like a Robin Hood... They frown upon you stealing from the other visitors at the Ren Fest, I'm afraid. <laughs> so you run over there and grab a turkey leg. <laughs> the guy on the stilt would tackle me. I would love to see a guy on stilts try to tackle me. Dressed like a guys. jester? Absolutely. Oh yeah. You know how you take out a whole renaissance festival? How's that? You hit him right in the juggler. Bravo. So, 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 yes, they have the D&D &D stuff there and you oh. briefly mentioned that you have yes. fallen into D&D. &D. Okay, some of the people that I work with are big into D&D. &D. I get with a group not having a clue what's going on. There's like three of them with computers. There's dice everywhere. And there's there's a guy named, that's a, it's, he's the DM. Dungeon Master, right? Well, Dungeon Master, yeah. yeah. We start at 6. We leave at like 10, 30, or 11. It's so we're happen. talking a Lord of the Rings extended edition yes. amount of time. And they say, well, we want to get you involved somehow. Would you like to have a character? I said, sure. And they say, you're going to be a pigeon. When you sit next to these people, it's like, he's a magician. This one's an orc. <laughs> this one's this. You're a pigeon. Is that like a turtle? for something or you're no, a little no a little flying bird but here's the cool thing the guy sitting next to me he says you know I'm part bird so we make it this whole thing where I'm, I'm sitting on his shoulder not literally right no, because no, no, that's no. hilarious he, yeah he says pigeon what should I do because <laughs> he gets to the edge of this castle wall and I said fly to the top of the wall and see if there's anybody on the other side he says okay flies to the top his character gets shot at six times <laughs> falls to the ground almost dead dies. Three hours goes by. The whole crew get to a dungeon. There's skeletons and monsters and stuff. They said, would you like to attack somebody? <laughs> sure! So we just throw the bird. <laughs> like, great, everybody else is dying. One of the guys next to me, the one before I turn, hits somebody, takes him down to one hit point. All I have to do is have contact. By the end of the night, in one dungeon, I kill five people so as the bird. So you weren't just a pigeon anymore. No, I turn into a giant pigeon like <laughs> he went from my baby pigeon a to giant, a giant pigeon. pigeon and then they said all right so now you have the opportunity to kill this last guy because i killed the last guy of the night they said how do you want to kill him i look at him i say i know what i want to do i'm gonna fly through his skull <laughs> and he said sweet he said you fly 200 feet per second he said and i said oh, i'm like this giant bird flying at full speed through this guy's head it was a skeleton could have been more <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the you had the mental image now of a pigeon flying through some a the very thing. large man size <laughs> pigeon. <laughs> we'll uh, be right back because I think we have a breaking news story. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. I am Seymour Butts. And I'm Wotar Botel. We have breaking news out of the state of Florida. A Florida man faces multiple charges after authorities say he stole mail from a woman while wearing only his underwear. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh. 
I'm sorry. I just got really thrown off. <laughs> According to the police report, a woman discovered the man wearing only a pair of underwear, taking mail out of her mailbox. When she questioned him, the Florida man, 54-year-old David Dunaway, began yelling and swung at her through her car window and hit her with the stolen mail. The woman attempted to drive a bit to put distance between herself and the Florida man, but he chased after her. At this point, the woman pulled out a gun and threatened to shoot if he came any closer, to which the Florida man fled. He was arrested and charged with burglary, with assault or battery, as well as resisting an officer. <laughs> Is this real? These are all real, by the <laughs> way. On another report, two Florida men tried to break into an ATM using a blowtorch. Instead of cutting open the ATM, the Florida men welded the port shut and they left empty-handed. And in our last report tonight, a Florida man who was released from jail Monday was sent right back after attempting to break into 26 different... <laughs> I really should read these first. <laughs> I can, I can do this. A Florida man who was released from jail Monday was sent right back after attempting to break into 26 different vehicles in the jail's parking lot. He was also seen attempting to steal two sheriff's office vehicles as well as an ATV used by deputies, which he hotwired. He's been locked up since mid-March on a trespassing charge. This time, he is facing 27 counts of auto burglary and one count of grand larceny. He was arrested and taken back to the same jail he had just been released from. <laughs> I guess he needed a ride home and he's like, well, I'll find one. Thank you for joining us tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Until next time, I am Seymour Butts. And I'm Wotar Botel. Good night and, and good, good news. news. Welcome back to the Driving Me Crazy podcast where we are still on a roll about D&D. &D. Mm -hmm. A giant pigeon... <laughs> <laughs> is going to continue telling me about this new hobby of his. So you went back. I went back. They said, okay, we're going to make you some character that's actually in the game. Like the a human is, being? Well, that's what I thought. Okay. They said, okay, the pigeon dies. He dies? The pigeon died. I but didn't even know he was This sick. whole thing is that the pigeon died and came back as something else. I'm assuming like I die as a bird, come back as a bird. A slightly larger duck. I come back as a holy fant. That's not a word. My name now is Lulu. You have not seen what Lulu the Holy Fan looks like, have so, you? So, I have not. Oh my! It looks like a deep fried Dumbo. <laughs> that is the only way I can explain it. What is it. that? It's, Does it have any special power? Yes, I mean, but here's the thing. When it starts out, it's weaker than that bird that I had. <laughs> So, I'm over here like, yes, I have evolved into Lulu the Holy Fan, and I am ready to fight. They say, oh, your attack power isn't near as strong as it was. I'm supposed to be able to bring people back from the dead. But right now, I feel like the biggest waste of space. <laughs> we Giant... might as well bring Terry along. Yeah, it's like, quest. here comes Lulu. And Lulu's over here wiping. Doing hey, the guys, what is going on? <laughs> what the? What the? Is it a male? I don't know. Oh, it's just what it is. It, it can cause poison. It flies in. 120 feet. <laughs> Gotta later. catch them all. Yes. <laughs> all right. That's enough talk about pigeons. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to the Driving Me Crazy podcast. We will see you next time. Until then, I'm Avery Jones. And I'm Chase Golden. Tune in next time when maybe you'll hear Chase Golden say, That's why I can't take my boat in the middle of the highway. See you next time. <laughs>